welcome guys now uh, another topic this is also a very basic uh, about the drawings and uh, I can tell you the drawings page is normally divided into column and rows so what's the reason behind this and if you see the drawing you will not notice it but it is actually divided in column and rows so here you can see that this page is divided into columns 1 to 8 okay and the rows A to basically F so for example why it's divided for example if I want to uh, give reference of any terminal block for example this terminal block if I want to give address of this so I can give this address like 1.8 or even if I give one it means that this terminal block is available in column one so I don't need to search the terminal block on whole page so this is how this system is working uh, you can see the drawing page divided in eight columns naming one to eight and drawing page is divided into uh, rows A to F so you have understand the function now let's I will open a drawing for you in which further you can see how it's functioning okay here if I say what is the address of this MCB on this page so uh, I, I have to start the if I'm giving reference of this device that we're uh, on any other another page how I will give this reference using the columns uh, page number column or I can also add rows for example I can add this drawing is this MCB is available on 10.4 10.4 if I want to specify more 10.4 B if I give this address uh, to any other sheet okay this component where it is, uh, if auxiliary contact of this is available I want to specify where is the original one I will specify it as 10 I will give sheet number then I will give column point four, uh, 4 and then point I can give also row B so in this way uh, does, uh, the address of any device is written on the sheet so this is how the columns and rows are working so let's move further so this is sheet 20 sheet 20 so I hope you have understand this logic further I will explain when I will uh, in the lecture about uh, how you will read the cross referencing thank you very much